welcome back to my channel my friends today is a very special video because I've got a very special person that's gonna feature in most of it <laughs> his workout and eating like him and just basically being Be Mario for a day. I've always wanted to do that. It's my lifetime achievement. For breakfast, Mario, what are we having? We're gonna have overnight oats. Right. That's my new obsession. I'd never eaten it until last week. Okay. Now I've made up for a lifetime of not eating it. Today is a really good day to film this video because we have quite a few meetings together. We have a few companies together, but also in terms of social media, Mario is my manager, so he helps look through contracts, he helps negotiate, sort my life out. Best manager I've ever had. What I need to get him is a mug. This is how we know it's Mario's day, because the football's on. Come on, boys. Come on, you Reds. Let's go, let's go. Oh, is it golf? I've got my coffee, which I never drink, but yeah, that's pretty much my breakfast Mario style. This video came about because I was thinking about training differently, and I thought, well, Mario trains a little bit differently to me, so maybe I'll just try out his workout. And then, just for a little bit of fun, I thought I would try out how he ate as well, because for me, no two days of food are the same anyway, so I just thought, you know what? Let's see what Mario eats. I know that he drinks way more coffee than me. I don't personally drink any coffee, so yeah. He's tried to make it as tasty as possible, but I'll be the judge of that, do you know what I mean? I'm excited about it. I also feel like trying different things, especially with training, is really important, and I know that even though me and Mario don't train together, I'm sure there's still something I can learn from him. Why are you just eating chocolate? Eat the oats. Are you too? It's because I had so much porridge when I was younger. I can't really stomach oats anymore. It's like me with vodka. What do you prefer? I prefer the coffee. No, you don't. I do. You, you hate coffee. In life, there's only so many times you can eat something before you can't even look at it again. So why did you pick the one week where I was obsessed with overnight oats to do this video? I guess I wasn't looking closely enough at what you were eating. It is good. Four years ago when I was obsessed with oats, really good. I just can't do Fast it anymore. Fast forward to today. <laughs> I just can't do it anymore. Smash it. Well, I'm on it. You haven't smashed anything yet. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Before we go to the gym, we've actually got a really important meeting with a massive talent agency this morning in London, which I'm really, really nervous about because they're not just any talent agency. They literally deal with most of Hollywood. They deal with like Victoria's Secrets models, really top athletes, and I've never worked with anyone like that or like, I don't know, I just feel like I'm excited, but I'm also very nervous. We'll just see how it goes. And then we eat and then we gym. I run the sketch. Why do you keep standing behind me and filming? Because I know where we're going. You've detoured. I never know what to do. This is what you need. You need one quarantine and one chocolate. I'd have a post-meeting snack, yeah. Huh? I gotta say, I'm noticing that we do things a little bit differently. <laughs> I feel like I'm living up my lifestyle a bit for the video. <laughs> but I was like, Mario, I'm gonna do what you're doing. And Mario's like, I'm gonna live my best life. <laughs> now we're going into meeting number two. I don't know why I'm whispering. Are we even gonna do any training today? So, so what we're doing right now, it's basically 50% of how I spend my life. We basically just put off working out. So oh, okay. we <laughs> So we're just taking detours. Yeah, we okay, go to the scenic route. Okay. This, this is a big part of my lifestyle. I want to kind of check it out because we just walked past it. This is my time to procrastinate. Am I doing a good job? Yeah, this is how you do it. Okay. So everything here is made out of ocean plastic. It's a non-profit organization and each bracelet is a different color. Each color represents a different charity. We are just waiting for a table at Bow, which is where we're going to eat. Mario chose it. I chose the charity Water, clean water and sanitation and 
quality education. The bracelet is made from ocean plastic and then the little cap is made from illegal, was it illegal? Yeah. Um, Weapons. All about that education. We went all the way to postgrad, both of us. Yeah. And then when we finished, we were both like, no. Because student life is the best. I used to be that student that would go after lectures and talk to the professor. Man. I loved it. I loved it so much. Any kind of like extracurricular, like maths challenge, all of that, sign me up. It was really fun for me. So I just want people to feel the same about education as well. I didn't really study for exams. So I didn't really like. <laughs> and then just smashes the distinction for all of his classes. Mario's just really, really intelligent. I'm just gonna oh, leave it there. There right. he is. Where's there he is. Where's he's gotten embarrassed. He's getting embarrassed. <laughs> I thought that was Leonardo DiCaprio, like, <sighs> until I saw that it was a bow bomb. <laughs> Is that one better? Both good. I'll translate. I don't know how we got into this conversation, but does Mario look like Mark Ruffalo? <laughs> what do you reckon? Do you think he looks like Mark Ruffalo? <laughs> Not at all. A little bit. A little bit. She said a little bit. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Are we seriously in prep right now? Need a snack. It's way more snacking than I'm used to. I usually just kind of stick to my meals, have a little dessert after. Keep eating, baby. Frequent Keep. meals. <laughs> Talk us through the workout. I had a really bad injury. I had nerve damage on my left side of my body. So I basically had to completely stop from exercising and then figure out how to use that side of my body again. So it's gonna be like a mix of resistance stuff, body weight stuff. Okay, so this one's like a bit of a partner workout thing. So we're gonna do slow negative but explosive push-ups and chin-ups. We're gonna do as many reps as possible. We're gonna do it five times. All my friends are still talking about drugs Saying feels like heaven come and feel like us All my friends are out drinking us dry Staying up till seven still on a bus This is like a single arm dumbbell move um, I've done these before actually so really? This one's like part of my routine In fact I think you might have sold it I got it from you this one, yeah Okay I wanna taste the honey it feels like it's real, but I can't be sure. Now my eyes are blind. I know how I got this scar. I did the most stupid thing in Italy. And I um, I just fell over. If I didn't fall over like a normal person where they put their hands out in front, I fell over on my chin and my shoulder with my legs behind me. You just can't write this stuff, guys. We're going to do the most calisthenics part of the workout. Now. Okay. So we're going to do reverse deadlifts, going parallel to the bar perpendicular. No idea what I'm looking for They're all losing their minds Behind the closed doors There's plenty to hide It never ends and they never know why Why they still wake up unsatisfied I don't really need to guess what this one is. We're gonna do bench press. I used to do bench press a lot when I was doing more like weightlifting and bodybuilding stuff. I think mean, I got up to like 45 kilos as my uh, like three rep max, I think. Um, I don't think I'll be anywhere near this, but I never do bench press, so. We're all waking up, I'm satisfied. I want to taste the honey. Go bench press. It feels like it's real, but I can't be sure Now my eyes are bloody No idea what I'm looking for Extended ball stands, so I come up onto my toes I'm really tensing the calves as I come up and the glutes And then I just slam all the way down Like heaven come and feel like 
from the gym. That was a really fun workout, I'll be honest. When I was in Italy, I just kind of went full ham on like free diving, just practicing on my breathing, trying to get as deep as possible. And so, yeah, I basically didn't focus on any upper body stuff. And I felt it today, but it was really fun. The boxing was definitely hard though. I felt like after doing the chin ups and the press ups and the bench press, it just felt really like sloppy. I always like trying different things. I always feel like there's that perception that women's training is different to men's training. I think maybe we focus on different areas, but the principles, like the underlying principles of the training still remain the same if you want those kind of results, especially with like physique or just getting stronger. And especially for me, I never like putting myself in a box. I like being able to have the flexibility to do anything. And I hope everyone feels welcome here, whatever kind of background of training that they have. So yeah. I think that's kind of that's kind of the message is for you. Oh, what are we having? Hummus and carrots. Yeah. What's up? Don't. That's way more snacking than I would usually do, but I'm not I'm not hating it, you know? I kinda like it. I don't even put pepper on my food because that's too spicy. Good? It's good. Don't get me wrong, I can appreciate the flavour and I know it's nice. It's just, it is a bit too nice. It's actually really spicy. We've done our work for today and now Mario's decided that he'd like to go to the cinema. What's your favourite film? 3, 2, 1. Forrest Gump. What's your favourite film, 51? Uh, American History X. I just felt under pressure. It is one of my favourite films though. Okay. Ready? I've gone for my pee. Now we can watch the film. <laughs> 